Just to explain, we're in Al Hassa in the eastern province of Saudi Arabia and this place is incredible. It's not only known for oil production but for date palm production. It's the biggest oasis in the world and it's got some great places around it. We're going out to the desert today. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We're going to go and see the Yellow Lake. We're going to have a bit of an adventure. <laughs> Come here. Let's go. Yalla, yalla. This is uh, Saudi Arabian style, isn't it? Roughing it in the <laughs> desert. <laughs> The yellow lake. Okay, new word in Arabic. <laughs> Will it have more water now than, than normal yeah, with yeah. all the rain? It's all here as well. It looks like we're going off road now. Just pulled off the motorway just at a random place and now going into the wilderness. A lot of rain lately. A lot of rain, yeah. Camels ahead. Excellent. Yes. Let's go and say hello. Wardi. Bacha. Maji. Bacha Maji. Bacha Maji. When Mama, Mama went, Ali di wahed Mama. I said, how's our Kabi? Oh my word! Look at them. Oops. Yo, yo. Not so much luck with the camels. <gasps> Aren't they beautiful? I'm guessing there must be at least 40 or 50 camels here, or females, because the males are too, like, too wild, too dangerous, they've got to be kept separate. Seriously, a lake. Yeah, Mohammed wanted to go like round the other side of the lake to the huge sand dune, but yeah, I don't think it's going to be possible. Trying an alternative route. The road isn't a road anymore, it's a lake. <laughs> This is the irrigation channel or something? Yeah, it's all man-made and you can tell by the amount of water we've had that there's a lot more water flowing now. But yeah, this is to irrigate all of the date palm plantations around here. This irrigation system set up for the date palm plantation in El Hassa, which is the largest date plantation in the world, over one and a half million trees apparently. And apparently also the largest oasis in the world. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it's where you go for your dates. It's just incredible to think that we're in Saudi Arabia, like supposedly the desert. There's all this water. And I've just noticed, can you see in the distance? Solar panels as well. That's fantastic. Enjoy. Thank you so much, Halle. I was just told that the water's here because they want to plan to make this into an entire forest. So we're standing on desert now, but eventually yeah. it's going to be date palm plantation all the way out here. Wow. So it'll be even bigger. Khaled just brought us to the most beautiful spot, Saudi Arabia. You know what I mean? We're in the desert. See that massive sand dune over there? That was the one that we were aiming for. I'm not too sure if we're going to make it or not, just because of the amount of rain we've had. But dodging between the desert and the lakes here you know and it's amazing that there's so much water here in the desert but it is really pretty it's lovely to see the bird life as well coming from all around the world yeah to this beautiful place and this is so lovely yeah Khaled wants a selfie with yes. the Saudi flag yay <laughs> oh, he's got the camera this is amazing Khaled just brought us to another place so there's a sand dune in the distance but look at it oh my word Mohammed's a proper YouTuber, he's got a drone. So that Lee would love to have. Problem is, it's a bit windy today. Yeah, windy maybe it doesn't <gasps> go today. drone footage in the video so it'll be our first ever drone footage thanks to Maria. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Dirt. Wow. Abby, uh, 
Looks like he lives in the mud. When? Hey. The secret of desert travel is always ask for advice of the people around. This guy knows what he's talking about, so we'll follow his directions. Yeah, he makes a living rescuing people from the desert. That's so cool. <laughs> Hopefully we won't need him. It's so close. <laughs> big send you. Yeah, and he said this is the family friendly route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one's the adventurous <laughs> one, so... <laughs> yeah, don't know if we'll make it or not. Let's see. So Mohammed's going to send up the drone to see if we can actually make it up that way because the guy the the tow truck guy apparently had said that it's possible <laughs> but yeah you could get stuck if you get stuck in that water you're in trouble so we'll send the scout drone ahead to see if we can make it it's quite exciting it's amazing to think that yeah we're here in the desert and saudi arabia so what do you think lee like how much do you want to get to the sand dune uh, I it's walking distance, you ask me. We could just pack up and hike there, but I think the guys want to have all their picnic stuff, so you drive to the destination in Saudi Arabia, don't you? That's it. Um, I'm not writing it off yet, let's see what the drone says. <laughs> Roll number two, let someone else go first. <laughs> Let's see if it's possible. <laughs> Let's just swim across. Okay, good of a deep spot there. Keep moving and you'll be alright. Yes. Good work, Khalid. Very good. Enjoy. Here we are. It to the top of the very big dune looking over the lake but this is a really pretty spot the little dune nearby a bit of water I don't know. this is going to be our picnic place for the evening wonderful ever so windy sitting up with desert camp like a desert camping set up for coffee and tea. Wow. Khaled has the little cup. And so we thought they might use coal, but no, they do use wood. And dates, yes. 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 Very good. In Alasa. 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 Yes, this is from here. <laughs> Very good one. Very good. <laughs> and there's another one, Mamuba, for olive oil. 
Ah, oh, there's a lovely memorial biscuit. Saudi flag. And some chocolate from Romania, <laughs> I believe. Do you know what that's from? <laughs> I wondered how he was going to light the fire. Okay. <laughs> also, this. Oh, wow. Same cookies with a date. And there's, oh, how wonderful. I think it's corn bread bracelets, maybe? And brown bread mamu. I love how this is all set up for like your desert coffee with your tea and sugar and. Can't beat it really. Good friends, good company, beautiful surroundings. Aren't we fortunate? So fortunate. Of course, we have nice, lovely, fragrant Arabic coffee to get us started and keep us warm. Wow. Khaled had bought a flask. So that's really cool. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Shukran. Thank you. Thank you for this brilliant experience. Yes. This that's is coffee Saudi. Saudi coffee. Saudi coffee. No. No same and any coffee. No, it's yeah. so see different. color. The beautiful color, the golden yeah. color. No black. No. <laughs> this is different. The coffee after make it in fire. Yes. Don't black. The only litter. But with the diet. The ones we bought yesterday with Halid and Mohammed. So delicious. With the almonds inside. Yeah. I, I normally I don't actually like dates, but I must admit I had six this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. So, so, so good. No, thank you. Okay. Try this also. My idea of a great outdoor experience. <laughs> Rather than hiking no. around the sun dunes, we're just sitting here drinking tea and coffee, eating cakes. Lovely. Wonderful. These ones are so lovely. They're like made with brown flour and they have like dates inside. Date paste, yeah. And some cinnamon. Really, really wonderful. We touch up, come there, you can share. But Muhammad was just saying one of the reasons that they have the fire, actually Halid was saying as well, one of the reasons that they have the fire is because the smoke keeps away mosquitoes, which can be quite ferocious out here actually, but maybe tonight will be too windy anyway. Another bag for the treats out. keep coming, yeah, cheese and zatan puff. Very, very quite nice. Cheese puffs too. We're not going to starve in the desert, are we? <laughs> Okay. Surviving quite well, thank you very much. <laughs> I just can't believe, like, we know how windy it is. What we saw before from the footage, it's just so blooming smooth. Got internet connection, that's the most important <laughs> thing when you're in the wilderness, isn't it? Obviously. <laughs> and having your drone. <laughs> Enjoy! Enjoy! <laughs> that is wonderful. Khalid has got a, a secret toy here to play with, especially for the desert. What could it be? Hmm, <laughs> right, what do we do with this? Let's see. I worked out it was a toboggan because Harley showed me a video of people going down sand dunes. Brilliant! You know, there aren't many big sand dunes around here. This one is being towed for the back of the car. No, no, I don't get the car to go to the car. Okay, this. Getting the this. correct. This. Over the face, okay, for um, for uh, safety parking. and security. <laughs> yeah, safety, <laughs> security. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Okay. What could go wrong? I'm <laughs> not <laughs> quite sure if this is a good idea or not. See you later. towed by a car that is, I've been on a dune before, but it's quite good fun actually. Uh, I thought it was going to be dodgy, 
I thought it was going to be fast and furious. We're going, he's going pretty easy on me, I think. But here we go, I'm going to hold on tight. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> yeah, it's good. Faster, faster. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm not quite sure if my travel insurance covers this. I better hold on with two hands. Yeah, and we come to a stop. I survived the desert tobogganing. Yes. That was it, Lee. Amazing. I loved it. Fantastic. Yeah. Quite bouncy um, on the old uh, <laughs> good, good massage on the buttocks. And <laughs> um, Halid seemed to be a very good driver. Yes. Very good yeah. driver, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. They're trying to talk me into it. No, it's okay. Thank no, you. No. <laughs> Thank you so much. Is this your first time doing this, Haled? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. You know, is he waited till I'd finished first <laughs> just to make sure it was safe? <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is, like, the desert's wonderful. Coffee in the desert is wonderful, but, um, Where's the toilet? Where's the toilet? <laughs> I think I'm the only over female behind here. Behind that bush over there? Maybe? Behind that bush? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. I'm going to be like stamping around for like the next few hours. And it's, it's actually getting really cold. Like Lee's put the scarf on to protect himself from the from sand. The yeah, that was my protective... Uh, <laughs> for the safety oh, wear. We're just eating some chocolate and talking about things and Muhammad has just told us like it's incredible in the south of Saudi Arabia mm, they grow coffee yeah yeah it's and, our coffee. Mm. and what else do you grow in the south uh, and uh, mango wow in Saudi Arabia <laughs> that's yeah. just you know what I mean <laughs> it's not just a desert there's more to it than that yeah there's mountains and there's agricultural I areas south, I have mountain I have uh, uh, another uh, weather, yeah. No same here, yeah. Okay. Different climates, yeah. Here wow. desert, another yeah. uh, south uh, mountain. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. We and will. Rain. We'll have to go sometime. It just sounds amazing in the south. Yeah. There's so yeah. much more of this country to see and explore. <laughs> yeah. Big size. <laughs> <laughs> big <So> country. Big. <laughs> <laughs> and another very important thing we've just been reminded of. What is the uh, um, Arabic word for coffee? Arabic coffee. Yes. Shiha. <laughs> okay, so that's what you call it. Yeah. Is it also the same with the black coffee? Yes, Would we get black coffee, but not uh, from uh, Saudi Arabia. Okay. Saudi Arabia, uh, yellow coffee. Yeah. Gahwa. <laughs> Gahwa. But still, we are uh, named uh, Gahwa. Gahwa. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Can you say it, Lee? <laughs> Even with a mouthful of chocolate, I can say it. Getting closer to sunset. Almost everyone's left apart from us. It's prayer time for the guys. We're going to stand there and admire the beautiful scenery. It's wonderful. Of course, it's very important when you're about to leave to make sure that the coals are buried. There's no chance of them starting a fire. That's it. Desert campers packed up. Now we just have to find our way home <laughs> to the desert somewhere. Thought we're a bit lost in the desert there, but I think they know the way they're going. We're weaving in and out of the sand dunes trying to find our way out of here. And I think we're in the right direction. Half an hour of sand bashing and we're getting somewhere. Hopefully. There's a lot to organise, going everything back into different cars. Wow, Muhammad really is very organised. There's so many things. Thank you. That was an amazing trip. Thank you so Thank you. much. 
Khalid, the number Thank one you. desert driver <laughs> in all of Saudi Arabia. Enjoy! Oh, Mia, Mia. Enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy! We Enjoy. really enjoyed. <laughs> Enjoy. These guys are incredible. Yeah. Great yeah. trip. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you so thank much. You. Oh, thank you, Enjoy. Khaled. Shokran. And thank you so Shokran. much, Mohammed and yeah. Khaled. It was yeah. just so wonderful. What an amazing experience. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Al-Assad, brilliant place. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. Good girl.